Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're still new to my channel and you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to share my videos to your friends and to your friends' friends. This is one way you can keep me going, inspired and refreshed. Now, if you find my videos interesting and important to your studies, also please don't forget to subscribe. So here's another problem on uh, solved problems in fluid mechanics and hydraulics, particularly on the topic on rotated or relative equilibrium. Here is problem 51. The tank shown is 1.5 meters wide into the paper. So determine 51.1, the maximum value of AX without spilling any water and the corresponding force on the rear side wall AB. The minimum value of AX if the pressure at C is 0 and 51.3, the value of AY if AX is 4.5 meter per second square and the pressure at C is just 0. So here is the given figure for the first part. Uh, we have to assume that the uh, resulting water surface crosses the front wall and above C. And let's find out if it is possible. So for the solution, let's equate the volume of air initial, which is 1.8 times 0.4 times 1.5 meter supposedly, but I just call it B to the resulting volume if the water surface crosses the front wall as shown. So let's call this Y1 and this is 1.8 meters minus 0.75, so 1.05 meter. So again, volume of air initial, which is 1.8 times 0.4 times B perpendicular to the paper or screen equals volume of this airspace final if it is possible one half of 1.05 times y1 times b perpendicular to the screen canceling out b solving for y1 y1 is equal to 1.3714 meter and this is greater than the depth or height of the tank which is only 1.2 meter so therefore that's not possible the water surface should cross below c so the figure will be adjusted as shown in the figure. So this is theta 1, the slope of this uh, water surface. Still in this configuration, no water will be spilled and this corresponds to the maximum value of Ax without spilling any water and this is also theta 1. So we will call the distance where this water surface crosses the bottom from the front uh, vertical wall as x1 as shown and this is 1.05 so again we equate the initial volume of air to the final volume of air the final volume of air is area of this trapezoid times width perpendicular to the board which is again denoted by b so 1.8 times 0.4 times b is equal to 1 half of 1.05 plus x sub 1 times 1.2 the height of this tank times b perpendicular to the board cancelling out b and solving for x1 so x1 is equal to 0.15 meters so therefore we can now solve for the maximum value of ax tangent of theta 1 equals ax over g and ax over g is also equal to by trigonometry opposite which is 1.2 this one 1.2.8 plus 0.4 divided by this distance which is 1.05 minus x1 and x1 is just computed 0.15 so ax over g equals opposite 1.2 over 1.05 minus 0.15 so from there we can solve for ax take note g is 9.81 so a sub x maximum is 13.08 meters per second square for the second part the minimum value of ax if the pressure at c is zero so for minimum value of x in this configuration actually pressure at c is already zero because this bottom portion is exposed but that that is not the uh, situation where we can compute minimum value of ax that happens when the water surface crosses point c exactly and to do that this surface should extend somewhere here so that the 
the acceleration AX will be minimum and it satisfies that the pressure at C is zero. As shown in this figure, uh, by the way, we, before we proceed to the second part, let's also compute the force on the rear sidewall AB as required here. So we extend this surface and we will call this Y is theta 1, that's also theta 1, and this is Y sub 2. By similar triangles, Y sub 2 as 2.75 equals 1.2 meter as to 1.05 minus X1. So Y sub 2 as 2.75 equals 1.2 meter as to 1.05 minus 0.15. Solving for Y sub 2, Y sub 2 is equal to 1 meter. So the rear wall is a rectangle 1.5 meters wide and 1.2 meters high as shown in the figure. And let's call the force as FAB. This is the end and the centroid is denoted by distance of the centroid of this projected area or wall area from the resulting water surface is HG and HG is Y2 which is 1 meter this one then plus half of 1.2.6 so HG is 1.6 meter as shown and FAB is specific weight of water bar H or HG times area which is 1.5 times 1.2 so FAB is gamma of water bar H or HG times area so substitute 9.81 times 1.6 area is 1.5 times 1.2 so FAB can now be computed it is equal to 28.25 kilonewtons the other way of computing FAB is to use the pressure diagram and FAB is equal to the volume of the pressure diagram which we can compute because the area where this pressure acts is just a rectangle as shown. So the intensity of pressure at A is gamma water times depth which is Y2 9.81 times 1 so it is 9.81 times 1 while the kilopascals while the intensity of pressure at the bottom at B is gamma water 9.81 times this vertical distance 1 plus 1.2 so 2.2 so this is 9.81 times 2.2 and the volume of this pressure diagram is simply area of this trapezoid times 1.5 meters perpendicular to the screen so FAB is equal to volume of this pressure diagram and the volume is one half of quantity 9.81 times 1 plus 9.81 times 2.2 times height 1.2 then times width perpendicular to the board or screen 1.5. So link for FAB it should also be 28.25 kilonewtons. So let's now proceed to the second part the minimum value of AX as stated earlier it should cross C and it should be this surface so its slope is flatter compared to the one in the first part where we computed the maximum acceleration AX without spilling any water. So we will call the distance that this surface intersects this upper end as X sub 2. So call that theta 2. And this is also theta 2. And this is X sub 2. So again, equate the volume of air initial to the final volume of air. So 1.8 times 0.4 times B equals 1 half of X sub 2 times 1.2 the height times B. Solving for X sub 2, X sub 2 is equal to uh, 1.2 which is reasonable because this is 1.05 meter. So if this X sub 2 is 1.2 and the height of the tank is also 1.2, therefore theta 2 is 45 degrees. So tangent of theta 2, which is AX over G, equals 1.2 meters opposite over adjacent 1.2 meters. So solving for AX minimum, it is 9.81 meters per second square. Then finally for part 3, for the value of AY if AX is 4.5 meters per second square. The pressure at C is just zero, so this is still the figure. And let's assume that AY is upward, although 
it may not be upward it may be downward so let's verify it so theta 2 is theta 3 so tangent theta 3 is also 1 and it is ax over g plus minus ay we assume ay to be positive or upward and solving for ax solving for ay rather 4.5 over 9.81 plus ay equals 1 or 1.2 over 1.2 so ay is negative uh, 5.31 meters per second square so that means that ay should be downward 